greensmachines.com. So today we're going to be taking some uh, mint cuttings we got from a, a neighbor plant. As you can see, they've got nice roots so far. We're going to be transplanting them into uh, these two gallon containers over here. And so as part of an experiment, we have regular gravel over there on the left, and we've got some uh, synthetic gravel over there from a company called Arclight. They sent me this bag for free for me to test out, and I'm free to do with it what I want right now. Uh, essentially, the gravel is based on plastic, and it's a lot lighter than your normal pea gravel. For this experiment here, I'm just going to line the bottom of uh, these two containers with the gravel and see how much better drainage is. In the future, I'll likely take both types of gravel and use them in the neck cups in my hydroponic system over here. See how much better the uh, lightweight gravel does with, you know, your neck cups here holding the plants in place. So we'll be doing a few experiments with this gravel. But in the meantime, we're going to do a little transplanting and uh, we'll see how, see how it goes. So we get another close-up of what this stuff looks like. It's kind of just like, there's a camera lens. Little plastic pellets, and they're very light. Like this one gallon bag, I don't think weighs any more than five pounds. That's according to the uh, shipping manifest. That gravel that I had before, that's river pebbles. It's a lot heavier, but I will say though, this stuff, is, if you were to buy it off of Amazon or the store itself, it's, it's a lot more expensive than just buying the stones, but I mean, we'll see how different this is, how durable it is, and how easy it is complete, or how easy it is to clean compared to your normal gravel. So we're gonna fill up these with soil, then we're gonna transplant our two mint plants in next. There we go. So there we have our two mint transplants. And uh, now we're gonna have unlimited mint once these uh, take off and get going. So yes, yeah, so the one on the left we use the regular gravel, the one on the right we use the Arclight. If you're interested in trying out the uh, Arclight gravel yourself, I'm gonna put a link in the description below. Uh, yeah. All right, we're back here a few weeks later. You can see the mint, and this one's the standard gravel. It's doing pretty well. And you can see here, this is not a mint plant. This is a basil plant. The uh, mint died that I planted here within a week because uh, it was about 100 degrees outside. Somehow this one survived, but this one didn't. So I put a basil plant in here instead that a roommate bought from a store, and it seems to be doing pretty well. So I gotta say, uh, I guess the drainage is doing okay. Uh, got some weeds in here. Gotta yank those. This looks like a carrot almost. Could be for all I know. 
So uh, yeah, I'll leave that to your uh, judgment to determine which kind of gravel you'd like to use, whether it be regular or synthetic. But in any case, I've got two good plants. I gotta say, this one's doing really well, to be honest. Two good plants that will uh, provide cuttings for future plants, eventually to fill up this system here.